So it's finally happened, the Mac version of Ryujinx, the Nintendo Switch emulator, has now been fully upstreamed, so whenever Ryujinx gets updated for Windows and Linux, the Mac version is also being updated and is being released to the public. Not only can we get AAA titles like Zelda Tears of the Kingdom working really well on Apple Silicon hardware, other classic titles like Red Dead Redemption recently released onto Switch now work pretty much flawlessly on the Apple Silicon Mac, and on day one we're getting virtually flawless support for games like Super Mario Wonder. So today in this video what I'm going to do is to show you a full tutorial of how to get Ryujinx working on Apple Silicon Mac using macOS Sonoma. I'll be showing you how to download this new upstream branch of Ryujinx for Mac, how to set up the prod keys, title keys and firmware, taking a look at performance, shader compilation, stutter and also macOS Sonoma's game mode, and how to get Nintendo Switch emulation working as well as possible even on the lowliest M1 MacBook Air. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to reusedinks.org and then go to the download section here and I'm going to leave a link to this in the description and what you're going to notice is that we have three different versions that we can download. We've got the Windows, Linux and Mac OS and they all have the same version because all of the changes have now been merged into the mainline branch. So we're going to download the latest version of the Mac OS release just by clicking the download button here and we're going to go and minimize this and go into Finder and then Downloads. So within this folder we're going to double click and it's going to extract this tar.gz folder and we're going to get this Reusedinks app. So just drag and drop this into your applications folder, then let go. And then within applications, we're going to scroll down until we find Ryujinx and we're going to double click on this. So here it says it can't be opened. So what we're going to do is to hold down the control key and then click on Ryujinx and then press open. And then this is going to allow us to manually open this file. So we've opened this up and now it says that Ryujinx keys cannot be found. So we need the prod.keys file and various other files in order to proceed. So next what we're going to do is to set up our prod.keys and title.keys file. So I'm not allowed to show you where to get the these files from, you should extract them from your own jailbroken switch, or they can easily be found on the internet. We're going to copy these files and we're going to go to Go and Finder. We're going to hold down the Option key to reveal the library section here, and then we're going to go to Application Support, double click, and then we're going to find the Reujinx folder, which should have been created when you open up Reujinx, and then we're going to double click on System, and then here we're going to Control click on this blank space and then click Paste to Items. So those files are now within the correct folder. So next we need to install the Switch firmware into the Reujinx application. So this should come in the format of a folder with various NCA files inside of it. You should extract this from your own jailbroken switch or you can find these files online as well. I'm not allowed to show you where to get them exactly, but they're fairly easy to locate. So now within Reujinx, we just open this up again. We can go to tools and then install firmware and then install firmware from a directory. And then we select the folder that we've extracted with all the NCA files within it and then press open. Because the keys files are in the correct place, this will successfully install. So press yes to continue. And now that's installed, it says here we are on system version 16.1.0. So next what we need to do is to go ahead and add a game directory. So this is going to contain NSP or XCI files and what we're going to do is to add the directory with all of our Switch ROMs in them. Getting games is quite straightforward. You can rip them from a genuine Switch cartridge with a jailbroken Switch and also they're quite easy to find online as well. So here we've added my directory and then press OK and then we've got Red Dead Redemption right here. So if we have an update file which often comes as an NSP, what we need to do is a right click on the game and then we're going to click Manage Title Updates and then we're going to add an update and we're going to add this update here for Red Dead Redemption and it's going to last to play version 1.0.2. Then press add and press save. So if that doesn't refresh, you can just click the refresh button here and then that's going to show 1.0.2. So now we're going to pair a game controller. So I'm going to be pairing my DualSense controller here. So to put this into pairing mode, it's quite straightforward. You hold down the share button here and then you hold down the home button until the LED starts flashing. So you can see that's flashing and it's going into pairing mode. Each controller has a different way of doing this, but basically we can just go to Bluetooth settings on the Mac system menu. And then in the bottom here, it's saying DualSense wireless controller is ready to pair. Just press connect button. And then once that's ready, then this blue light will be solid on your controller. So our controller is now paired up and then we can go to options, go to settings, and then we can go to input. And then within input, we're gonna change our input device for player one. And we're gonna select the newly paired DualSense wireless controller. We're gonna select the controller type. We're gonna use the Pro Controller type and then press OK. So that's going to be set up as the default controller for Rejinx. So here you're going to go ahead and launch the game just by double clicking on here and it's starting to load. So now the game is launched, we can basically control it through the DualSense controller. So now we can play the game as normal. What we're going to do is double click on the title bar here or you can full screen this here. And you can see that it's a little bit stuttery to begin with, but it is working correctly on the Apple Silicon Mac. So Red Dead Redemption doesn't run too badly for an emulated game, especially on the base M1 Apple Silicon Mac. This is the MacBook Air. 
and we don't have a fan and it's pretty much maxing out on temperature so it's probably going to be throttling quite a bit. But Ryujinx is a native Apple Silicon optimized application and it's running through macOS Sonoma's game mode and I'd say the performance isn't too bad considering that this is an integrated graphics chip. Similarly other AAA titles are running even better than ever before so this is Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. When this first came out it had a lot of graphical issues but they've all been worked out by the Ryujinx team. But the main thing to note is that if you're playing any of these Switch games through Ryujinx there's going to be significant stutter that's caused by shader compilation and that can be remedied using something called Ryusak and I'll leave a link in the description for a tutorial on how to use an application to download already pre -gen 